My name's Paul Cheba. I've been an audit registered trainer since 1995. I'm pleased to say that no one has ever failed to pass the part two, or indeed the part three that I've trained. This is an important thing to tell you because I'd like to have feel that you have confidence in what I'm going to tell you today. Um, the average pass rate is between 40 and 45% of people that um, start taking the training to become a, a driving instructor. Uh, what I'm going to do on this film is I'm going to explain to you how, why and when we need to do whatever you need to do in order to pass your part two. Um, the important thing about me telling you that I'm an audit registered trainer is that lots of people offer training to prospective driving instructors who aren't actually audit registered. Uh, this is rather like having a nurse operate on you. Uh, not many of us would feel comfortable about doing that. So the reason that we go to a surgeon is presumably they've passed whatever exams and met whatever qualifications are necessary to be able to do the job. You need to make sure that if you have a look at my window is that your trainer has got two licenses. The one on the left is a green license that says it's an ADI instructor. The one on the right is a pink license which confirms that I'm an audit registered trainer. Some instructors, which you may well have, uh, later on we'll just have a pink license which says they're a prospective driving instructor but I hope you can see it on film you can see here that it says audit registered trainer this means that every two years a supervising examiner will come and sit in on one of my lessons uh, check out my paperwork make sure that the criteria for financial regularities and a bunch of other stuff is up to standard and that my ability to teach Prospective driving instructors, no matter what it is I'm going to teach them, is up to standard.